specify and type properties. So we come up into the architectural wall and we click on edit type. And in here is the all the wrappings of the wall. And if we come down here, you can see all the different parameters. And if we can go into and hit the edit button, you'll see that each one of the layers here is set for this is an exterior brick on CMU and it shows each one of the layers. And so in this we can show each one of these layers and it shows each the finish, the, the thermal, the membrane, the core, uh, etc. right down the line. And it'll have the exterior side up here, interior side here. We'll have the total thickness of the wall. Uh, and so you can change these around and edit these things if necessary. You can also change the wrapping. Now the wrappings have to do when there's an opening or an end of the wall. If we go and take a look here, here's here's a compound wall with no wrapping. So the brick, for example, goes all the way around and it just is on the outside. When there's it wraps around the end, it, cra it caps the end of the wall. So the wrapping it determines, you know, does it wrap on the inside of a window or wrap around the end of the wall? So you want to uh, determine those wrappings of, of the wall. Also, when we come back here, you should not edit these uh, families. Uh, in this case, it's an exterior brick on CMU. This is going to change every single wall in the project. Uh, so I would not alter this. What I would do is I would duplicate it. And when I duplicate it, I'd give it a special name or a different name so that you don't change the original. And then you can call this by the project name or something like that. Always, always, always duplicate uh, a, a family wall to create your own new wall. Keep the originals there. So uh, remember that when you specify the type properties, you're changing all the properties of this wall for everything in the project.